we are here in 7-Eleven. We are in uh, downtown Sabunga. We just stopped at the 7-Eleven and we got something you couldn't get in the U.S. We got show pow. Yep, a sadder show pow. Show, yeah, show pow a sadder? They were actually really good. I was kind of surprised by that. The 7-Elevens here do a lot more than they do in the U.S. It's like restaurant because we have benches. Yeah, you actually got some nice little outdoor seating. Uh, they've actually got a little bit of seating inside of most of them. Yeah. I don't know if this one does or doesn't. I don't think they do right now because of all the, the garbage going on. But this is one of the newest things in Sabunga. Yep, so it might be a year or less than a year. Yeah, it, it hasn't been open terribly long. Yeah. Uh, when we came here a year ago in August, I don't think it was open yet. Yeah. They're still building it last year. Yeah, I'd have to go back and check some of the videos, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that they were. When I came in January, it was just <laughs> open. But we're gonna do a little bit of a walking tour. And show some of the sites that Cindy grew up with. Yep. And some of the newer ones that have been here actually since yeah. you've left. <coughs> yeah, trying to cross the street in the Philippines is an interesting challenge. Because print the grocery store is fairly new. This wasn't here five years ago. It's not here five years ago. Yeah, my first trip here it wasn't here. But by the time we came back in 2018, it was here pretty well established. But it's actually a uh, neat grocery store. I think we've done a video from inside. We'll have to go back and check. And then there's a Gold Deluxe. It's new to less than a year, the Gold Deluxe, where we can buy cakes, yeah. birthday cakes. The gas station is a little bit older. Yeah, I was here when I was maybe five years old. We used to have a, like a market there, but Petron supermarket, but... Oh, like a little convenience store. Yeah. Kind of like our 7-Elevens, the uh, yeah. 7-Eleven Circle K's. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, sidewalks in the Philippines are pretty much non-existent. You're walking almost in traffic. <laughs> In a moment, there's no almost to it. You're in traffic. Yeah, they have a barber shop on the side. Oh yeah. There used to be no barber shop. The barber shop in the market is closed. So this one is the new one. Oh yeah, that's they right. They have a loitery, a lotto outlet too. Yeah. Each town or each barangay has a lotto outlet like that. Yeah, they're all over. Papa likes to go to the one at night. Yeah. Uh, that's almost out in front of the uh, house. Yeah. And they um, we called it Heritage Park. We called it Heritage Park. So yeah. Um, it used to be just playground or nothing built up like this. And now it's really beautiful though. And my high school. <laughs> this is where I graduated my high school. to be our uh, ROTC building, the side, and now it's, yeah. All incorporated into the school. Yeah. So this used to be a separate building? There is a, this one is just up there. There's, this is not a, another building. It's just a one line. Oh, okay. So they have an extension. This is an extension, this area here. Oh, okay. Is school in session right now? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get down over over here. Yeah, I'm not gonna try and jump, jump that. Oh, 
okay. I was checking out what the uh, school son was saying. There we go. This is kind of sort of a sidewalk. <laughs> Their drainage ditch has covers here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to step on that one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, ADA compliance is not something that uh, is terribly common here. This is the town church. This is where we almost lost the, uh, the drone. <laughs> Remember that incident? Yep. Oh, very cool. Can we go in? Oh, cute. Isn't that cute? We'll have to come down at night, see if it's lit. Yeah. Now that's Mother Mary? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a beautiful flower. This one is so empty, so this is... Oh, very cool. This is all new here. It used to be just plain nothing here, you know? Now we've been in that building. Yep. That that's where all the uh, uh, offices and, and uh, the maybe. administration stuff yeah. is. That's so pretty. <laughs> that's actually really cool. I like that. It's DIY for sure. Uh oh. Okay. We'll see how it goes in the night. You know. Oh, and they do that. They've got the uh, lights strung into the caps. Oh, and they're glass bottles. That ought to look pretty cool. Imagine that. Make a Christmas tree. Hey, Filipino ingenuity. That's what I like about this place. Yep. Take a picture of the stars and the world. Is it freebie? Yes, it is. It's actually very cool. I like this. It's, we used to be, a, it's a convent, they called it Convento Daddy. Oh. It used to be really old and now they actually, you know, rebuild it and it looks so beautiful. You know? Oh, okay, yeah, they still say con Convento. Convento. The convent? Yeah. You think of pretty, we should take a look here at night. And night. We'll have to come back here. be uh, another exit there before but because I'm not sure so they actually put a gated so ah, okay that's how it goes I'm, a it, I'm not sure if that's a hanger or what but on the top of them it's it almost does look like there's a, a cord and so I'm wondering yeah. if they're lit These, these old churches are gorgeous. They said, well, I hit that. No touching. <laughs> yeah. We come over here every Sunday, attend church. So, growing up, this is the church. Well, we went to different churches. 
Yeah, the ceilings in these. Oh, birdies. The, the, the ceiling murals on these are amazing. Man, wouldn't that... On the way out, I noticed that there was a sign. I'll take a picture of the sign to include it. Oh, okay, it looks like they've got the Stations of the Cross and paintings. I'm not sure if they're actually paintings or wood carvings. But yeah, a lot of the artifacts in these churches are, are well, they are wood carvings. That the the artifacts are amazing. No, it's just Senora de Manawa. It's actually uh, no. Pangasinan. I'm not sure. But, yeah. That's like one of the patron saints. Yeah. Okay. Now, somebody that was a lot more familiar with the layout of a Catholic church could probably tell you a lot more about this. Oh, it looks like there's a plaque of some kind. It is a plaque, but I can't read it. But these things are, are amazingly cool. Yeah, from the inside, it definitely, those things should light up at night. We'll definitely have to come back down here. The choir loft. So I'm assuming those are somehow stairs up there. Walking down the aisle. <laughs> we could do number four, see how that works out. <laughs> Can we go up to the altar? No. We only go to where the fence is. No, 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 that's what I meant. That's oh, what I yeah, meant. Yeah. I'd kind of like to get with one of the parish priests and see if he can do a tour of this place sometime. But this is actually very cool. I know this town has two saints. Mm -hmm. that are, the, the town has two patron saints. Those that are two patron saints? Yeah. Okay. Normally only one patrons in each town, but here in the Sibonga, it happens to have two patron saints. So that's why we have two fiestas. It's like August, the Nuestra Senora, uh, I know, Santa Filipina, and then October 12, it's Nuestra Senora del Pilar. Oh, okay. So you know that uh, pub private school over there? That's the Nuestra Senora del Pilar. Oh, okay. The the, the Catholic private school. Yeah, the Catholic. Okay. Very cool. We'll have to see if we can get with the uh, the parish priests and see if they'd be willing to do a tour on video for us one day. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. There's lights on the columns. Oh, all the way up in the columns. Oh, 
Okay, it started right at the end of uh, the Spanish era and it was completed after the American era came in. So this one's actually a little bit newer than a lot of churches, a lot of the town churches. Yeah. But there, there's a fair amount of town churches here that go back to the late, late 16, early 1700s. All right, can you hold the camera for a minute? Cool, so that's the inside of the church. So, we used to have a lot of uh, massage here, ref reflex uh, massage, but I guess, yeah, with the situations, it's all gone. Oh, okay. Now that, last time we were here, was like a, uh, a store of some kind yeah. that, that sold religious items. I guess it, it still is. But this was the park. This was the uh, church. church. And we're actually going to kill this and head over to the park. Yep. And we'll see you in the park. Yep.